hello guys. Good morning. We're back in San Francisco. I just got dressed. My best friend stayed over. <laughs> really casual today. And we're gonna go to the dog park. But first I'm gonna do some skincare and a little bit of makeup. Ro just sent me a package. And it is for its glazing milk. It came in like a milk carton. Oh my gosh, Candice, you wanna try this? She is the queen consumer. Every time I have products, she loves to try them and buy them herself. What is this? It's the New Road Glazing Milk. I don't really know what glazing milk is. <laughs> I know, you didn't really explain much. I was like, I don't know, that's what milk. it said. But we have that. And they also sent over two little peptide lip treatments. Thank you, Road. Let's try this. I actually am obsessed with the lip treatment. And I love the pink font. Like, I'm obsessed with all things pink. I know you want to try it. <laughs> She's staring at it. I think they made the tip slimmer. Wow. I think this is watermelon. Mm hmm It's watermelon. I'm going to do my eyebrows and curl my lashes and call it a day. I got this Revlon brow paint. And I just try to, like, mimic the hairs, I guess. I tweeze too much with my eyebrow. My mom always tells me not to because she's like, I tweeze too much when I was your age and blah, 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 blah. So I'm trying not to do it. But I feel like it looks very natural. I think Asian women are the OG clean girls because they just never wear any makeup. I guess it depends. But I don't know. It's just bad for your skin. Like, when I was in high school, I would have really bad breakouts and I would put more makeup to cover it because I was, like, insecure. And then I would just break out even more, which made no sense. But it's fine. Live and learn. Okay, we're gonna use this curler. The heroin mascara is the best. I think I'm gonna go in with this YSL mascara, but this remover is a lifesaver. Literally so good. So Lucas is making dinner for me tonight, and he asked me what I wanted for my birthday. I feel so annoying. I celebrated my birthday literally eight times this week and last week, because like I wanted to celebrate with my New York friends and my San Francisco friends. My family never knows what to get me because I feel like I never want anything. I'm just like, do well in school, Lucas. <laughs> but he's making me a prime rib dinner. I guess I don't know what else he's making in addition to it. He's really good at cooking. I'm better at like salads and like really simple foods because I like eating. Like one time I went to go buy pesto and then I read that there were like random ingredients to preserve the pesto. So then I decided to just get all the ingredients to make it at home because it was so easy. I did this trick where you put a claw clip under your hair and it makes your ponytail more voluminous. I'm still feeling it out because I feel like it makes me look like hair is sparse. But this is my super simple outfit. So with jeans jacket and then these peachy den pants and then we have a yang yang accessory and we're gonna take it to the park later the park <laughs> uh oh Mimi heard it too but yeah we're gonna go get coffee and do some work and then we're gonna take the dogs to the park so weekend at home so just got to any town and there's no parking, so I parked my blinkers on, and Candace is going to get an iced latte, lightly sweetened, that's fine, and then another iced latte with the hat on it. That's what I usually get, but today I don't feel like having whipped cream. They basically make this really good homemade whipped cream and they put it on the latte if you ask for it with the hat, and she's curious to try it, because she's a consumer, so it'll be funny. But I'm really excited to just go back into my routine. You guys haven't been to San Francisco. I think when we go home, my mom is making pho ga, which is like chicken pho. She's making a simpler version. Yay! Nice latte. Thank you. Yeah. I want to like get your impression. Cheers. Cheers. You get the whipped cream sweetened or no? No, I just got like nice latte with a hat. It's so good. It's fire. Whipped cream is so good. Damn, I should have gotten the whipped cream. I know, I wish he didn't scoop it out because like he like literally put it on and he was like, oh, you didn't want it. I was like, no, you can keep. And then he already scooped it in. I'm just kidding. It's so good. Yeah, it is. It's kind of just creamier. All right, mm, let's that was go. pretty fire though. One of the best coffee I've had in a while, I feel like. It's good, it's right? It's really good, yeah. Yeah, any town's the best. <laughs>
prime rib, but couldn't get a reservation at the house of prime rib. So today I'm going to try and make prime rib for her, but I've never made it before. So I'm going to take you guys on that adventure. I went and got this and I dehydrated this last night in salt. Good thing she didn't go through the fridge last night because she would have seen it. But I have to run to the grocery store. Let's go. I wanted to show you guys where my wall art is from. So these paintings are from a brand called Desenio and they recently opened a new US-based warehouse where they ship their paintings within two to four days. They have their own in-house design team to bring such unique and trendy designs. I picked these little anchovies posters and also this one with oyster shells on it. I love the theme of wine and the checkered print in the back. I decided to hang mine up on the wall, but in New York, I also have Desenio prints in a monthly calendar as well as a meal prep plan where you can write on it with a whiteboard. The nice thing is that you can also pick the color of your frame and they have such trendy high quality prints and frames where they always update their new collections so you can see what's fitting to you. They're also literally the most perfect gift and they have something for everyone and every style. Use my code here or the link in my description box to get your very own. In this couch area I also have more Desenio prints and I usually like to use one monthly calendar I'll put a picture right here where I write with a whiteboard marker and it's so helpful for when I'm trying to just plan out my day or my week. They have so many different options and you guys should definitely check out their website. The name of my artist was Isabel Van de Plage, I believe. And so I picked the oysters and olives poster, the tablecloth with matches and the petit déjeuner poster, which I think is where the anchovies come in. So perfect gift and perfect decor. What are you making, Lucas? I'm making a mac and cheese brew right now for lobster mac and cheese. Here, come look. Come here. Mmm. Ooh, are those onions on the bottom? Yeah, it's for the au jus. What's that? Uh, that's potato gratin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna broil it at the end to make a nice crust. But this is my first time making it. Yummy. I stayed up till like 5 a.m. yesterday freaking watching videos. Oh, thanks, Lucas. Well, he did ask me what I wanted for my birthday. I just said fine words, so he's doing the most. You didn't have to make lobster mac and cheese too. You can't have prime rib without the sides. The sides are sometimes the best part. Mmm, the cream spinach. I'm gonna taste it, okay? Mmm, mmm, yummy. It's good. I'm gonna make mango mochi later. I saw my reels. <laughs> this is not part of it. That's just his drink he's drinking. I got for him. I used to drink this a lot as kids. It's really good. It's like lemon tea. It's called lemon tea. This is for his mac and cheese. Just to hold off my hunger. Right now it's mozzarella, but I got five cheeses. I have Gruyere, Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack, Parmesan, and mozzarella. That sounds... Like a toilet trip. Huh? <laughs> Fun fact, all Asian people are lactose intolerant because you never see cheese in Asian dishes. That yeah. makes so much sense. Also, the pasta that I got. When you eat it, it's like there's a bunch of cheese sitting in there. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. It smells so good. So right now it's a white sauce, but then once we add the cheddar, it's going to turn a little bit more orange. I'm going to use this cheese for the crust. And now it's becoming a little bit more thick, more like a mac and cheese sauce. I'm going to add some more cream to it. I'll just finish the rest. Yum. I'm sorry for the farts beforehand, Joe. That's my girlfriend. Okay. Hey, thanks Lucas. The goal is to just get the flavors out the shells. We never waste here. No sauce is being wasted. That's perfect amount.
hot? No, I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> Lobster mac and cheese leftover might be very gas. Wow. I'm excited. This is your first time? Yeah. Don't wow. get your hopes up though. It might be overcooked. This? Mm. Moment of truth. I think it'll be good. Ready? I'm just gonna cut like right here. <laughs> you know what ends? It looks wow. perfect! Let's go! Yes! English cut. Ooh, wow, it looks great. Good oh. job, Lucas. It's a little rare. I mean, a little medium. I don't think anybody thinks this is medium except for our family. <laughs> Mom likes it bloody. It looks beautiful. Ooh, that looks fire! Lobster mac, potato gratin, cream spinach. Mmm. Wow, Lucas, that would be so proud. When we have kids, you can make everything. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner oh, at yeah. your house. <laughs> Yum. This looks so good. Yeah, this is the au jus. This is the potato Wait, gratin. Potato gratin? Then he made lobster mac. Lobster mac and cream, cream spinach. spinach. <laughs> lobster mac? I need that shit right now. Oh, so Yummy. good. Bye, Dad. Bye, Nico. How's it, mommy? It's tasty. <laughs> How's it, Jojo? So good. Did you eat it yet, Lucas? No. Oh. <laughs> so good. Mmm. Oh mmm. Really good. The spinach is so good. Mmm. The lobster mix is really good. Cheers. Good job, Lucas. Cheers, Isabel. Happy Cheers. birthday. Thank Happy birthday. you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you guys for Thank you for cooking. Cheers. Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Lucas. Time to make mango marchi, but before my little brother comes home, Michaela's here with me to make mango marchi. <laughs> 100 milliliters. Wait, half cup glutinous rice flour. These are so ready to be eaten. Mango marchi time. One mango, two mango. My senses say to cut this way, and there we go. Boom, one mango. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys, it's a mango. The urge for me to take a bite out of this, I'm holding it in. Take a bite out of the core. <gasps> You're so right. Where did you get these sweet bundles of goodness? Costco. Oh my god, Costco, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> Wait, Is it good? that's it? If they only have four pieces? Mmm. Your mom has more, she said. Mmm. Mochiko flour, the cup. Pure cane, granulated sugar. Guys, this is in one can of Coke. Don't drink Coke. <laughs> Your reminder to not drink soda. It's majority water? Wait, that's fire. No, it's majority rice flour. Oh, f you're right. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> My quick time. <laughs> Do you have to whisk it? People commenting on the video, I would just eat the mango, bro. Well, shut up, idiot. How many minutes? One minute. And then you have to stir. Ooh! <laughs> All right. So we microwave this three times for a minute each. And we kind of just added more water because 6.73 tablespoons did not seem right. We basically added like seven and a half tablespoons of water. And it looks like mochi. I love it. Mm. Looks so good. So what else do we do? Oh my gosh, so fun. It said set aside and cool, but so far we just set it aside. That's it. <laughs> so we're gonna see how it goes. It's so easy. Whoa, look at the light. Ouch, this is a bitch. <laughs> Should we just try it? I don't have you have a, to roll it. Do I you have a rolling pin? No. Actually, I do have it somewhere. <laughs> wow, so picture perfect. Wait, that looks good. Wait, I'm so excited. I think that could be used for two pieces. I think so too. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, this way? No, oh, this forgot. way. Okay, this makes me a bit nervous. It's like wrapping a diaper. <gasps> Guys! Okay, one mango. Okay, Michaela's turn. What? Your dough is so much easier. <laughs> 
Damn it. Mine was on its last leg. <laughs> Yours is a beautiful baby. Wait, you could just cut it there, no? Yeah, I feel like I can. Wow, wow. Okay, guys, comment who made a better one, me or Michaela. I'll probably comment Michaela though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even like, it's not even, it should be like more like seamless, you know? <laughs> My mom said, oh, so ugly. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo. Yo, that's f***ed up crazy delicious. <laughs> that's crazy. Hurry, cut that out before I eat it. <laughs> Yo. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. oh my god. Yo, that's sexy as hell. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> Fish. Okay, Taste I'm gonna try the ugliest piece Taste of all. Taste test. Cheers. Uh, what the? <laughs> oh. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> the mango is really good. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It's light. I mean, it is good. Honestly, it could use more sugar yeah, for it to be more, more addictive. But mm -hmm. I like that it's so healthy that I, I don't want more mochi. This mochi is good as a finisher rather than it wrapped around. Because then you're like getting most of the mango and tasting its fruit and then getting like finishing off with the chew. I rated a 7, but I rate it? the mango a 20. <laughs>